venga, venga, venga. This is an expression. It comes from the verb venir, but it's just an expression. So you don't have to worry about, oh my God, I have to, you know, I have to conjugate the verb or I have to, to just think about what I want to say. This is more like an expression, but it's, it's just easy. It's just easy to, to say, and it can be very positive. Uh, it depends on the tone, of course, but venga means, come on, let's go. Okay, so you are saying to someone, hey, come on, you can do it. Or if you say venga by itself, it can mean, let's go, let's go. We got this, we got this. Okay, so venga, venga, you can do it. You can do it, si se puede, okay? So it's just a quick, easy, uh, positive expression that you can say in Spanish. For example, you can say, venga, 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 dímelo, okay? Dímelo. So this is, this is a situation where you want someone to tell you something, maybe the person... Eh, wants to tell you but i don't know i don't know if i should but if you want to tell the person hey come on just just tell me tell me so you can say this come on tell me venga dímelo venga dímelo venga venga remember the v sound is similar to b as in bell in spanish um, in english b as in bell but venga venga you don't you don't say venga Venga, it's not a common thing to do. Although if you do, if you do say it like that, it will be fine. You will be understood. <laughs> Venga, dímelo. Come on, tell me. Dímelo, dímelo means tell me. Okay? Dímelo. Tell me. Also, another way to say it is dime. Dime, dime. Venga, dime. Come on, tell me. Same thing, similar expression. Or dímelo. Lo is a reflexive pronoun. And, well, lo is a, definitely a pronoun. And it means it. Sometimes it means him you but of course it depends on the situation lo refers to it in this situation so tell me it pretty much that's what you're saying but of course in in english doesn't make much sense so that's why um, i just want to let you know about that lo refers to it venga dímelo come on tell me okay this is informal, by the way. It's informal. So you will say this to your friend, to your family, or someone you're comfortable with. Now, the next, of course, we have here the expression venga, which means come on in this situation. Now, the next one, the next one. Oops. Venga. No te preocupes. Venga, no te preocupes. This means, come on, don't worry, don't worry, okay? So if someone is a little worried about anything, uh, you can just say, venga, venga, no te preocupes. Come on, come on, don't worry, don't worry. Venga, come on. No te preocupes. No te preocupes. Don't worry. No can mean don't, no, will not, did not. Okay. Uh, it's a very good word and very versatile, but it's usually negative. Well, it is negative. It's a negative word. And te, te is a reflexive pronoun refers to you so don't you worry but we don't have it in english here preocupes is a verb it comes from the verb pre preocupar preocupar 
in that means to worry. Okay. Preocupes is conjugated and it means worry, just like it says here. Okay. So you're saying this to one person, not plural you, just singular you. If you want to say something, you know, to a group of people, don't, don't worry, guys. It will be more like, venga, no se preocupen. Okay. Venga, no se preocupen. Come on, don't worry. Don't worry, you guys, very much. That's what you're saying there. Excellent. Now we have one last example here. Okay. Venga. Venga que tú puedes. Venga. Que tú puedes. This means, come on, you can do it. Very easy, very positive, very good. I like it. I like it. So let's break this down. Venga. Same expression. You don't have to worry about anything. Just learn the expression. Come on. By the way, when it means let's go, it's just by itself. When you just say it by itself, venga, let's go or come on. Right. But when you add more to to the expression, you know, you add dímelo, no se preocupen. It's very similar to saying come on. Okay. Que, que means that or what. Um, you, you don't have to say it, but some people say it. Venga, que tú puedes. Or you can say, venga, tú puedes. And that works. That works. It's correct. Tú, you, puedes, can, in this situation, can do it, similar to can do it, but it's not a literal translation. You're technically saying you can. You can. That's it. Tú puedes. You need the personal pronoun you, tú, in this situation. I know sometimes I say we don't use them all the time, but the expression tú puedes, that's just an expression. It doesn't change if you want to say you can do it. Tú puedes, tú puedes, you can do it, okay? Remember that, venga que tú puedes, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, tú puedes, excellent. So remember, venga, come on, let's go, excellent. Thank you.